So one of the big challenges with recruiting um, in a high growth business is, is how you do that, but you, you don't dilute the culture. Um, and in fact, and what we've always viewed it as is we want to enrich, keep enriching the culture. Um, and the way in which we've done that is by um, being absolutely clear that the people we're hiring are, um, are going to be able to live and embody the values of the business. For us, the values are, are how we describe the culture. And so um, we've done work to um, distill our values down into the behaviours, the skills, the capabilities that bring them to life. Um, and we've made them absolutely central to our recruitment process. Um, and so over the years, I think, actually, as the company's grown, it's become more and more innocent um, as a consequence. Being in a high growth business is, is a challenging and really exciting place to be and it puts a number of demands on the HR function, um, I think, and, and a couple of those that I'd pull out. Um, first of all, I think we need to be much more discerning about how and where we intervene. So often in high growth um, environments you're resource constrained and so you can't do everything, you can't be all things to all people. Um, and so certainly we have had to learn um, where we just let something be, we don't, you know, good, good enough is good enough, um, and instead we decide actually we're going to go really deep. Um, in this area. So I think getting more discerning about, about that is, is, is really key. I think the second thing is learning to become more decisive. So high growth demands pace um, and that requires us to be really decisive and that can be challenging when you have many stakeholders demanding different things of you, having different opinions. Um, and so that can be interesting uh, and certainly challenging. And I think the third area that stands out for me, um, growth demands action and decisions and change. And actually much of that happens um, in conversation with people, um, with leaders, with managers, with, with people in the business. And so as a function, I think if we can dial up the quality of our conversations, um, that can have a real impact. So whether that be about giving the giving tough feedback, whether that be the ones asking the questions about, okay, well, if we make this change, what's that going to mean in the future? Um, I think it's a real opportunity for us to be provocateurs. And so um, I often think about how can I improve the quality of the conversations that I'm having every day. So organisational life cycle theory um, suggests that organisations go through a series of changes as they develop and as they grow. Um, and that businesses essentially will go through a period of relatively steady change, so a growth, a growth phase, um, it'd be incremental, um, and then something will happen that creates a turning point in an organisation or a crisis. Um, and in that point, it becomes really clear that the previous way of doing things is no longer relevant. Um, and so the organisation ha has to evolve through that to the next phase of growth, or it will plateau, or uh, at best, or at worst, decline. Um, and so this model maps out a series of these crisis points and phases, and I certainly found it really useful um, and it's given me confidence that actually these crisis points and turning points are inevitable. Um, and actually what we need to do is see them as an opportunity because in every one of those crisis points there's an opportunity to do business differently in the future. Um, and I think we as a function are perfectly placed um, to think about, okay, what foundations am I laying for, for the next two, three years? Um, so I think as a function we need to get confidence from, from these, uh, these moments um, yeah, and see them as a, as a, a chance for change.